And that's why I think AP rounds should be nerfed. All right, well, that was a great video. Now let's see what other game we can play. We can play Breachers VR. It hasn't gotten a real great content update in forever. We can play Veil VR. Eh, I mean, it's fun and all, but I feel like I'm kind of getting out of the VR niche. Ooh, what about Deadlock? I've been playing Deadlock for a while now. Oh, you gotta be fucked. Yep, you got that right. Ghost of Tabor just got an update, and to be honest with you, I'm salty at them. The only reason why I'm salty is because I was just about to make a video on why AP rounds should be nerfed. Then all of a sudden, they fixed that shit to make the nerf happen. Like, come on, man. You can at least wait next week so I can post it up so I can feel good that I felt like I was involved with the update. I mean, come on. But yeah, seriously, I'm really excited about this update. And don't get me wrong, I am the usual D1 hater that a lot of people identify me as for Tabor. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Look, 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 look. look. Do you see that? Do you, do you see that right there? Do you see that? AP has gotten nerfed. You must get to level four for you to be able to get to AP powder, which is great in my opinion. The other thing, Jerry, is that now he does not sell AP rounds anymore, which is good. His quests are very easy to do and completing them to get AP powder made it very difficult for a lot of people to play because getting AP power that early and then not being able to wear anything, not really the best thing, right? And the second thing, they added in a nerds pouch which is pretty cool so you can put like four nerds in here i think that this adds in a lot more organization skills in the near future i think scott said before that later on they would like to add in different types of drugs to add in that would like maybe help you carry more weight make you run faster etc etc then they added in a pistol pouch so you can add that onto your chest or onto your other leg so you can actually start dual wielding if you really want to pistol holster so now you can hold two pistols instead of one which i find interesting so i can do this put that there i can put that there maybe no but but you can put two holsters now instead and i think you could put it on your chest as well similar to how you can put like a utility module on your chest or like uh an ammo module you can put that on your chest the same way you can put that on your chest as well then they added in something i never would have thought i would see again the pump action shotgun Wow. Okay, so this is the new shotgun, the M590A1, and it feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this thing was going to be not good, but it feels pretty good. This is a pump shotgun. This is not new, by the way. This is an old pump shotgun that we used to have back in the old days when we still had that firing range in uh, the woods. So now having this feels pretty good. I like it. I like the idea that you can press the button to cock it. I liked like in Into the Radius um, where you press trigger to then cock it back instead. I appreciate that a lot more, but it feels pretty smooth. It seems like the developers have found their bearings, they found their groove on what they're trying to do with the game, and the shotgun feels surprisingly good. Then they added in turn-in missions, which I was surprised about because turn-in missions back then were bugged and really broken, and now they're brought back a couple months before the wipe is going to happen, so I'm curious to see how people feel about it. I'm hoping that people enjoy having a variety of quests to deal with instead of just kill, 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 kill. It's kill. Okay, maybe I could find all these items items and then sell it for extra cash like i prefer that and i think that's really good and then there's a like big patch notes of bug fixes and improvements which is really cool and that's it and i'm very excited to see where the future of tabor goes and i want to let you all know that i will probably come back to tabor if it's going to be like this i think this is the step in the right direction for the game and i hope that they continue on working hard and making more efforts like this because this is a big improvement improvement on what we originally had but i want to know your thoughts about the update did you like it did you hate it do you think it could have changed a little bit later let me know in the comments down below and that is it for me everyone i hope you have a great rest of your day raise hell praise dale and burn down the applebee's